side official gathers up his flag and we're ready to go. Already a, a little gamesmanship by <laughs> by Boring Camp faked faked it just to see what South Carolina was going to do. How about that? And Clemson will look to control, and both of these teams, Kevin, they are going to press. They are going to try to force some defensive mistakes, and then try to capitalize on that offensively. Yeah, I think they're going to look for those opportunities. That's obviously one when. McKenna Morris turns to go back to her goal. That's an opportunity to press. And with this heat, you will have to be strategic of how often. How 85 degrees go. here at kick. Although, let me tell you, 85 degrees compared to what we had beginning of the week is delightful. Welcome. Barry. Morris, there's a cross. Ball touched but not cleared out of the box. Barry, just such a big physical appearance, and she'll force the corner. Ball deflects yep. off of Morris. Early opportunity here for the Gamecocks. Absolutely. So Dixon will come to take the first corner of this contest. And we're not even two minutes in. And this is where the size of Barry can really come into play. Good ball into the box, but headed out. Clemson looking to control, and the deflection will come their way. Can they touch it through? No, they cannot. Jenna uh, Tobias there just trying to counterattack. Dixon off on the wing. Centers it in, but no teammate there. Clear to the foot. Here's Tobia. Pushing it through. Pass a little too long. And then he'll get pushed back. Put it forward. The chase is on. Clemson will chase that down. Push it back. Here comes a break from the Gamecocks. Red well by Makowitz and a foul and a whistle call. That was read very well and a good charge by O'Rourke. Yeah, Shea O'Rourke just gambling there. Nearly paid off for. So Hank, uh, excuse me, as Harper White pushes it back. Yeah, Makowitz makes a good decision. You just yeah. want to pump that away. Caught a little contact from her work there at the end, but she's fine. Clemson trying to control. That's nicely done. Off to short. They'll feed it off the wing. Real first opportunity for Clemson in the Gamecock zone. Short, the young freshman. Looks to cross it. Didn't get enough foot on that. And it's cleared. Here's Morris with it off the deflection, trying to center across. That's going to be a handball. Has to be. Oh, it's going to deflect. No, they're just going to say corner. Yeah, it looks like they're going to say that intentional. It did go up and got the arm of Zuloff. And you see Clemson was looking for the handball, but they'll, they'll take the corner and an opportunity here. Well, talking to Coach Smith, they're very aware of the danger that Clemson can pose on the set pieces, particularly Megan Bornkamp. That was one of her keys to the match tonight was be solid defensively on these sets. St. George left foots it in. Fed backside. Short trying to head it back or in. Excuse me, that was actually Morris with it now. Tobia. Left foots it on oh, up and over. It would be Born Camp. Good idea. Up there at Tatum Short, freshman out of Las Vegas. Clemson coaching staff really high on the three freshmen that they are starting here tonight. 
Well, certainly you can't take a whole lot from your exhibition games, but when a player like Tatum Short has a hat trick against Ole Miss and then scores another goal against UNC Wilmington, you'd certainly rather see that than see no goals. Yeah, there's something about putting it in the back of the net that will get you noticed by coaching staffs. There you go. Good carry through by White. Pushes it off to the wing. Clemson just looking to control. Back on the foot of McKenna Morris. Conti pushes it through and a good sliding tackle from behind. Does it go over the end line? It does. A good slotting effort there. Looked yep. like Gracie Fala came through to deny Bourne Camp that clean look on goal. But a nice feed from, from Conti to play Bourne Camp in behind. Yeah, and just an excellent play there by Fala. So once again, St. George foots it, goes back post, and headed off. And that's going to be chased down by O'Rourke. Yeah, that was Emily Bruff there lurking at the back post for Clemson. Backside control here is White. I think this is going to be indicative of what we're going to see tonight, Tanya. It's just ebbs and flows. South Carolina had Clemson pinned in for the first few minutes. and now the Long carry by out. White pushes it off. Tobia. Conti trying to push it. Borncat back to Tobia. She's going to fire it. Nope. Push it off. Short. Inside the box. Cuts it back. Left foots it across. Nobody there. Clear to the sideline for a throw in. It's really nicely done in the final third there from Clemson. Changing the point of attack. Getting Tatum short isolated in a 1v1 situation. White works against Barry, feeds it off, and we'll get it right back. Puts it deep, headed right back, though, to Tobia. Pushes it off, Conti. Crosses it, though! And with a slide, Bourne Camp can't get there with the left foot. Good cross. Tobia and Connor Caroline Conti just popping wide there. Good service. She nearly found Bourne Camp, didn't she? It's a nicely struck ball, too. It's just shaping away from the goalkeeper. Aaron passed. Tobia jumps on it, brings it in the box. Try to look like, try to back heel it. That was a mistake, and it'll just be cleared. The sideline by Fala. Morris to throw it in. Again, Morris trying to pass it through. Quick throw in. Conti. Toby of the cross, right for the net. Header off to the right side. Born Camp had the opportunity to give Clemson a 1 0 lead and missed the frame. Yeah, you can't leave a, a player of that caliber with that much time and space there. Sooner or later, she can punish you. Look, she just sneaks between the two Clem Gamecock defenders there. Dixon pushes it forward, foot it back. But they get it off. Cat Berry pushed through. Nice feed, O'Rourke. O'Rourke in the box. Closed down backside, battles, and a good job of just bodying off the attacker. Back in there by Danny Davis. Now you talk about this talented freshman trio before mentioning Tatum Short and Chenna Tobia. That's it's Danny Davis doing sound defensive work back there. Port Washington, New York freshman. That's pretty heady play right there. I should anticipate that through ball well. <laughs> Born 
ball finally settled and pushed back by Bruff. White pressured by Barry. Makowitz put it out in the direction of Bourne Camp. And here's short with it. Head up, feeds it off Connie. On the wing, Tobia. 1v1, Tobia can't carry it through. That's excellent defense backside by South Carolina. Short tried to back heel it through. Whiffed on it. South Carolina will clear it. Here's the chase by O'Rourke. White takes care of that. Davis back over to White. The ball touched out of bounds by Barry. Yeah, Harper White's just so composed back there. That Clemson back line. A solid one, de one defending from Cameron Dixon there. Absolutely. Ball headed forward, trying to get it off Bourne Camp, and that ball would just be touched out of bounds one more time by Fala. McKenna Morris with the throw in. Going to go along. Bourne Camp chest pass off to Conti. Going to cross it. Going to be chased down by St. George. Harper White. Morris checked. Ball knocked away. Deflects off onto the foot of Hirschfeld. Comes back to White. Yeah, she did well there. Barry almost caught her in possession. Defenders come collide on Hirschfeld. There's some tugging and fight going on. That's going to be against South Carolina. Uh, Called the foul there on Zuloff. I actually think that could have gone the other way. It looked like. I do too. <laughs> you can see Hirschfeld with just a handful of jersey. Yeah, I didn't see much on the on the foul there initially from Zuloff, but certainly saw the handful of shirt. Toby a one on one one more time against Dixon and a foul call there on Tobia. So right now already the book that we're seeing on Tobia Kevin is every time that she's in a 1v1 she's going to go right unless he's just trying to set somebody up and eventually he's going to take it left. But right now everything is right off the outside of the foot and they're doing a good job of uh, getting her isolated in those 1v1 situations and with a defender of the experience you're talking about Cameron Dixon last year 23 starts 24 appearances. You know, she's a savvy defender in those 1v1 situations. Oh, this is a very experienced South Carolina ball club, a team that went to the Sweet 16 last year. We told you won the SEC, won 15 matches last year. Short middle of the field. Tobia with space. Again at Dixon, chips it through, and that's going to be too high. She saw Dixon coming at her one more time and said, all right, I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, the ball just took a little bit of an awkward bounce before she served it. I don't think that was a shot on from her. Hirschfeld heads it off. Short will look to settle. Defender from behind, but gets away from that. Born camp with the settle. Short looks to attack. Comes top of the box. Too many defenders cleared. And I think you're getting a, a good picture of what this Clemson coaching staff wants out of Megan Born camp. She's finding seams. She's able to hold the ball up, get other players involved. Camp takes it off one hop. Short looking to cross it in, was trying to push it in there to Bruff. Here's Conti looking to settle and does. And one more time on the foot of Tobia. 
This time does go left side, gets by the initial defender, carries it again, trying to get through, can't. Maybe one too many touches. If he had that left foot, take that shot from the top of the box. Well, Don, she either heard you or she was setting her up to cut inside. Toby and Conti play a little bit of touching back. Here's Bourne Camp. Conti this time on the wing. Here's the cross, short. Can't get the foot on it. Really nicely done. What you're seeing from Bourne Camp, she's able to pin that ball up, pull some players out, and now you can get someone like caliber of Caroline Conti who can make intelligent runs into space, break the line, get in a wide area. She did a good job there of staying on side and delivered quality cross in. Clemson's put some pressure on South Carolina here in the first 20 minutes of this match. Have had some threats, but have not been able to find the back of the net yet. Bim trying to feed it back. Last touch by South Carolina, so throw in. Dixon will take that. That's good defending there from Al Hirschfeld. You know, it's a, another quality player that she's doing a lot of the dirty work in there as the six, just winning balls. Conti finally looks up, feeds it off. Push through. Bruff draws defenders. Trying to push it on the through to Short. Short looking to chase it down. Defender deflected it off of her and able to maintain it. And Hallie Meadows there doing well. Clemson pressuring a little bit. In the back third, sees a deflect off of Bruff for a throw in for South Carolina. Taylor Jacobson with the throw in. That's all deflects off Bourne Camp, but cleared. We're about seven, 17 minutes here on a, a pretty warm day. The tempo of this game, though. They've been back and forth. Nice job there. Good defense by McKenna Morris. Able to put the Jets on and turn that to the sideline for a throw in. Both of these teams, though, Kevin, can go very, very deep into their bench. This is not going to be just an 11 versus 11 match. I think we'll end up seeing 17, 18, 19 players for both squads. And as I say that, here's our first sub of the night. It'll be for South Carolina. So Micah Bryant will check in. Meadows will come out. And I don't know if that one's necessarily fatigue based. Talking to Coach Smith before the game today, just kind of watching those minutes as she comes back from an injury. But yeah, Don, as you mentioned, I think both of these teams are just so deep. You don't really see a drop off in quality either when you start subbing. Megan Bourne camp looking to cross it, deflected off a defender. South Carolina will turn it their way as they control near midfield. Bryant pushes it backside. Fala. Trying to push it up and over. McKenna Morris, but Morris will head that out of bounds. That's intelligent defending from Bourne Camp, though. You could see her cutting off the other center back, keeping South Carolina on this side, trying to make the field as small as possible. Well, chopped towards the top of the box, but headed out. South Carolina, one more time, will settle it. Bryant lost it. Tobia. Pushes it into open space. Going to left foot it. Pushes it to short. Good pass. Yeah, short 1v1. Draws defenders. Pushes it through. Born camp. Dribbles it back out and has it taken away. Good defense there by, by Bim. Ball pushed a little long for Morris and she'll just push it all the way back. Makowitz. 
Danny Davis. Take a look at the Central Spirit Club that is here with their drums, as always, here at historic Riggs Field. Bring a little bit of that, that European feel. Hey, they're a little feisty tonight. It's school doesn't start for another six days, but they're feisty because it's South Carolina in town. Well, this is the Clemson fan base. Harper White can't control as it taken away. O'Rourke. She'll slow it down. Feed it back. Zulop crosses it. Davis will head that out. But it'll be controlled by Torres. And on to the foot of Bryant. Fala. South Carolina just little ball control here. They push it deep back in their own zone. A little too long for Dixon, but she'll chase it down. Hines will feed it back to Fala. Long lead, but controlled by Davis. Morris sends it forward. Connie and it tipped away, but Connie stays with it. Touched it forward. Borncat. 1v1 here versus Dixon. Fires a shot, but it's wide and right. Hits the side of the net. Yeah, you could see her last little glance up. She thought Hens was off of her line. She was going for the chip. Hens recovered quickly, but it was just wide anyway. Yeah, Hens there in net. One of the best that there is in the collegiate game. 13 shutouts last season. A national best in that category. And she has just about every record of, when it comes to goalies in the South Carolina book that there is. As she was a SEC tournament MVP. Right. And they clinched that title last year. Tobia looks to cross. Short will chase that down. Rough. Turns it back midfield. Morris touches it, gets it back, feeds it through. Borncamp in the box, right footed shot. And hints with a big block. Big kick save there. Nice combination to free Camp in that situation. Very good save from Heather Hens. Well, you see Camp fires it low. That is difficult for any goalie to get to, and Hens able to get that foot to it. Corner here for Clemson. Now she does two things really well there. She comes off of her line just to cut the angle and then makes herself as big as possible and comes up with the save. Low line drive kick that comes in. Clemson controls. Gets it right back to Davis. Now the chop back portion and Hintz will just touch that. Out of bounds and we'll come into a corner from the other side. Yeah, these second phases of these set pieces can be so difficult. You're ready to push out, and it's easy to lose your marks. Hens did well to push that away. Lane St. George will come over. Already her third corner from this corner. She's going to play it short. Kenna Morris going to try to cheap, chip it through. Nice block there by Bem. Will come in and be cleared, and that's going to be a... A throw in or a corner? Difficult angle. That's right there, I think it's going to be a throw in. In a situation like that, I think I'd like to see Lane St. George hit that in swinger right on top of the keeper. She's dealing with the sun in her eyes. Go ahead and take your chances with that corner kick. Third ball last touch by Clemson. So throw in in the deep corner here for South Carolina. They'll get pressure and just push it right into the stands. Give it right back to Clemson. Kenna Morris will come over and take it. Top, 
Born camp looking to settle. Ball comes to the foot of Hirschfeld. She tries to fire a shot that will go wide. Left post. Should be the fourth shot of the night there for Clemson. White heads it down, settling it as Hirschfeld. He'll push it back. And Makowitz will one time it. Ball touched away. Here's short with it. Feeds it off Born Camp. Nicely done from Lane St. George there. Hirschfeld turns it. Finds short. Looking to settle it in the deep corner. Good read. Here comes a left foot cross. Back post. Born Camp heads it back out. That ball may have been a cross the line completely, and it did. Yeah, I think that'd be a goal kick. Just broke the line there of the end line. So here is Renee Lyles that will check in for Clemson. As Toby will check out. First sub of the night for the Clemson Tigers. You see. Tobia there on the Clemson bench. Yeah, good early shift from her. You spoke to the depth. Renee Lyles is another player that's dangerous in 1v1 situations. Have the luxury of having her come off the bench for you. Push up the wing. Davis, nice job defensively to stop and just take that away. Beats it back middle. Harper White foots it through, looking for a run out by Conti. Hints will come over. Go ahead and take it. Right on the line of the box and just push it back to herself. Born camp going to pressure things. South Carolina did really well breaking pressure there. Morris just clears it. Not like baseball, my friend. You don't get to keep that one. Won't go home with a souvenir. <laughs> Morris got a foot to it just to clear it out of the back there and a whistle and a foul call and that'll be against Clemson. That'll be against Bourne Camp. So here's Dixon. Chance to easily get something into the box and cause trouble here for Clemson. Yeah, try to win the first one and knock it down, create a little chaos. Ball's going to be carried out, though, by a nice sliding tackle by Dixon. Keeps it in the Gamecocks' possession. Pushes it back, Bryant. Bryant looking to cross. Can't. Ruff clears it off short. Short cuts back middle of the field. Head up. Looks back. Morris with it. Feeds it off onto the foot of Lyles. Conti going to center it. Was looking for Born Camp feeding down the middle. But just too high, too long. Born Camp though turns, gives her a thumbs up. Conti there. 
Good idea. But boy, that's got to be a perfect fit. That ball has to drop between those two defenders that are there. Get another sub in, although they didn't get the opportunity from that. Another. Brindley Murphy will come in for South Carolina, number nice, seven. Nicely put together to, to free Caroline Conti. O'Rourke clears it forward. Bim can't run it down. Hirschfeld will just clear it out. Touch back Morris. Ball in the air and finally resettled by Bryant. And then taken away. Hirschfeld head up. Finds short. Short begins the attack. Push it middle. Fired shot. Deflects off the foot. A follow and will go over the inline and become a corner. Yeah, I really like that forward run from Lane St. George come from the left back position. Although she didn't get the ball in the end, she stretched that back line. Allowed Clemson to find Emily Bruff there. So Davis come over and take the corner here. Hits it. A little bit of blow and headed out. They're going to come back towards Davis and she'll touch it back to Morris. Morris will chip it back in the box. Conti try to get a foot on it, touch it off. Harper White will settle at midfield. Davis pushed off to St. George. Short handles the pass and actually deflects off the defender in front of her to become a throw in for Clemson. Conti tripped up and it'll be a whistle. Yeah, Bryant, the guilty party. A little bit of contact there, but Conti certainly sold that. So Hopper White with an opportunity to set up something possibly here for Clemson. And I think similar to the set piece that South Carolina had earlier, you're just going to look to try to knock that down and get onto the second ball. It's a little short to the top of box touch. Ball being headed around. Finally settled. Conti comes away with it. Ball chipped in. They were looking for short to no avail. This is a little bit of just chaos out front of the box here. Finally, Conti pushing it through was, was hoping that her teammate, which I believe was Hirschfeld, was going to break on that, but didn't. You'll see subs come in. For both clubs. It'll be Spees, Megan Spees, 13, that'll check in for South Carolina. You see her there. As Torres will go out. Yeah, and on the flip side, you have Sammy Meredith and Sydney Manera coming in for Clemson. Born Camp comes out. Conti comes out. Short off the wing. Just plays it back. Good turn. Opportunity out front. Push it off to the wing. Lyles. Nice cut back. Here's the cross. Goes to the back post. Nobody there. It skips over everybody, though. Short with it. Feed it out front. Hirschfeld looking to line up a long shot. Ball deflected out front. Loose. And a nice play by Hens to come in and just cover that up. 
That looked like that was going to fall lucky for Clemson there on the deflection. Good awareness from Heather Hens to pounce on that. Ball just deflected right back to the in front of the Clemson player and Hens. Great reaction. Clemson again, Harper White pushes it in to the South Carolina half. Stop, feeds it back. Nerick, Morris, Lyles, trying to push it to Morris down the sideline, but touched out of bounds, throw in Clemson. Well, I think Lyles has given Clemson a little spark on this right side since she's come on. Who's that going to be the last touch by? South Carolina. Lyles, one more time. This time it goes off of her and out of bounds. Three subs will come in. South Carolina. Clemson will see how Hirschfeld check out. Looks like the Bim's going to get a breather here. DK into the ball game for South Carolina. Also. Schubach in for South Carolina, number nine. Barry feeds it back, attack from behind and taken away. And Sammy Merrith just snuck in there, didn't she? Trying to push it through to winner. Winner will chase this ball down. Crosses it in, cleared. Bodies collide, that'll be a foul on Clemson. And our head referee for the evening, Alyssa Nichols. Just having a quick word with Sidman Eric there. Yeah. She kind of went through Micah Bryan on that last challenge. Eight minutes left here in this first half. Still scoreless. Clemson has had some threats, but nothing to show for it. One threat by South Carolina that was closed down. Winner feeds it through. Meredith will touch it back. And here comes DK. A nice sliding tackle. Harper White to knock that away. Yeah, to them, DK deceptively fast. She's able to catch Harper White in possession there. Good recovery. And leave the throw in for Bryant. Clemson will just watch that ball go over the end line for a goal kick. And they'll use the opportunity to get Maria Manusas in the ball game. Number 18. Short will come out. What's good kick? There, the heads it forward. 
Ball still in the air and finally settled by South Carolina. And they push it quickly on an attack. Carrying it right up the middle of the field. And then DK was looking for a whistle from behind. Didn't get it. But here's Murphy with control. Oh, it's nicely done. Into the box. Left footed shot. Deflects. Ball deflects on the attempted clear. And finally, Clemson does clear. It's a little bit of an awkward play. It looked like it. DK actually collided with their own player there, but there was a lot of traffic. Nonetheless, the ref didn't see enough to, to call a foul there. Well, that gets up and over the head of White, and that gives an opportunity for Barry, but the flag is up for offside. I'm sure we'll get a look at that again, but that was close. That was very close. I actually didn't think she was offsides in the moment. Take a look here. As she's drifting just a little behind you can two see, defenders there. You can see the last intelligent step there from Danny Davis. She steps right before the ball is kicked, just puts her fraction offsides. That's pretty intelligent for a freshman defender. In the ball, pushed. DK trying to push it through, but couldn't. Morris battles with Murphy. Murphy wins that battle. Here's a chip in. Ball headed across, looking to be settled. A whistle and a foul call. Offside. No foul, just an offside. So you can see the clock ticking. Four minutes left here in regulation, first half. Nil, nil. Well, South Carolina started so well, I think, and the momentum swung in Clemson's favor in here to close out this first half. South Carolina has asserted themselves again, creating some chaotic moments. Meredith in a battle there with Murphy, and it goes off of Murphy for a throw in for Clemson. Morris. McNerick pushes it sideline. And winner. You see it touched away from her by Fala. I tell you, the back line defense for South Carolina, about as good as you're going to find in the women's collegiate game. Yes. A lot of experience back there and very, very solid. I'm looking at a player like Gracie Fala. You know, she was a all SEC preseason pick, but she was on the all freshman team last year. She's done very well. She's anticipated some movement, put herself in a position to make some tackles. Foul there was on Meredith. If you're both of these clubs right now with Creeping towards two and a half minutes to go first half. You just don't want a mistake here. Make a mistake that will cost you something to end this first half. Well, in the opening, we talked about some of the, the center forwards for each team. But off, off air, you and I were saying this could be a very defensive battle and come down to goalkeeping. Push through. Ends will come out. Take that. We've already seen her make one stellar play. Be settled by Meredith. And a whistle. And it's offside. It just came from an offside position to, to pin that ball up. Kind of like my man in the 16 national champions cape. How about that? <laughs> he's, he's not letting the good times die, is he? But look at the other guy's jacket. Yeah, the other guy's jacket is pretty. And he's very stoic. <laughs> at the black. Clemson shirt going on a going on a Thursday. And then you have Gilligan there in the middle with the bucket cap. There you go. Right. Ball just goes right through the wickets of winner on the sideline becomes a throw in for South Carolina. 
60 seconds left here first half. Hirschfeld will just turn it back. Mackowitz plays it off. Pushes it. Errant pass. South Carolina right back in the Clemson half. He'll push it. The ball will come. And Mackowitz just let it roll. Eat up a little time here. 30 seconds left in this first half. We'll talk with head coach Eder Edwanski before we send everybody to the locker rooms here at halftime. McNary trying to battle through. Eight seconds left. I don't know that Clemson's going to get anything off here, and they won't. And so, nil nil here at halftime between these two in state rivals. The Gamecocks of South Carolina and the homestanding Tigers of Clemson. Good first 45 minutes of action have had threats by both clubs. And both clubs have played at a very, very good here to start this second half of, of play. And I love that we saw the first 45. I hope that we get kind of the same second 45 because it was very, very entertaining. Yeah, and I think now that the sun's gone down, the temperature's dropped, I think the tempo will remain high. South Carolina trying to push it in, and right away the ball deflected by Bourne Camp. So here we go. And I, you know, Kevin, obviously you've been there, 2006 Southern Conference Coach of the Year, so you've been in this situation. Are there really that many adjustments that have to be made by either team? Well, it's going to be the little subtle things. You know, I think when Coach Smith was talking about how she adjusted in midfield, you're not necessarily changing the system, but maybe it's just a, a personnel change and you're having a player who naturally can come inside a little bit more. Maybe you have a center forward drop in into midfield, help out a little bit. How about when it comes to substitution patterns? Because obviously first half, you're sub and you're done. Second half, that's not the case. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a quirky rule in college soccer. No re-entry in the first half. But if if they pull, for instance, Tatum short off here in the second half, she's got one re-entry. And an opportunity to get a little blow if you need it. Conti trying to push it middle, carries it by. Hirschfeld. Clemson just being patient with it. Cross. Push it back. And nice defensive play there by O'Rourke. So that was a long possession for Clemson there. Really in the bottom third of the field against South Carolina, but could not come away with an opportunity to try to put something on frame. Yeah, I think that's a, a great picture of college soccer and what the demands are at the next level for young players. Sid Maneric's touch wasn't bad, but you can see it wasn't quite clean enough, and South Carolina quickly pounced on it and was able to dispossess her. All right, now there's a big trip call. That, that's a trip call, and so this will be an opportunity here early on here, second half for Clemson. And these are the moments I think you're just you're looking for a second a second ball in this situation. You see that the leg goes a little long there by Zuloff. Trip up Megan Bourne camp. They're still working those drums. And I think they're going to try to pick out Bourne camp. Bruff. Hal Hirschfeld, somebody that can knock this ball down for you. And we have a stoppage time. Alyssa Nichols trying to get control inside. All right, everybody, let's just calm down. Let's calm down and let's play. Hal Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld and <laughs> them going at it a little bit. We need more of that in this world right now. Let's all just calm down, all right? Can we just get along? She's 
feed it in. Good bender. And Bornkamp runs right in to Hens. I mean, those two collided solidly. Yeah, I think Hens had her eye on the ball and didn't see Bornkamp coming in for that. A little bit of an awkward collision. Well, I think that both players were going for the ball. Yeah. Both players were following the trajectory of the ball, not really looking to see what was what. And this is and give credit to Bornkamp. She's actually standing there to make sure that Hens is all right. That's not a head injury. Looked like it just knocked the wind out of her for a second. You can see she doesn't even see Bornkamp coming. Oh, she comes in and that, that shoulder just caught her. Oof. Push it forward, trying to get a run going here for Barry. And that'll be chased down St. George. And yeah, Clemson appealing for a throw in there, but of course that whole ball needs to cross the plane of that touchline. That's not St. George, that's Mackenzie Duff that was back there, excuse me. Going to be cleared who that last touch. I'll say Clemson. Yeah, good job for Hal Hirschfeld providing a little bit of cover there for Mackenzie Duff. I'll tell you, playing with these two center forwards in O'Rourke and, and Barry in South Carolina can cause some problems. Long throw in here. Barry, who's been defended well. And they clear it. And, oh, nice touch by Short. And here she goes, off to the races. She'll get chased down and slow things down. And then just get it right back with green space to work. Pushed it off the Bourne camp, but that was into traffic. Maybe a bad decision there by the freshman. That's like Great recovery run. I think that was Amanda Patrick there was initially beaten, but did well to recover and slow the play down. Hens clears it. Hirschfeld controls. St. George has it touched back by Lyles. St. George trying to come through much too strong off the foot. Five minutes in here to second half action, still scoreless. And that ball just touched and out of bounds. Off of McNerick. And once again, last touch by Clemson. Let's see. Megan Bornkamp there. A little push in the back here against South Carolina. That was pretty subtle, but credit to Alyssa Nichols, the center official. Good call. And Nerick didn't quite spot the ball where the official wanted it. Now the play. Great crowd as you look across home field side for Clemson. Here is short. This crowd has been ready to explode for the home standing Tigers. Trying to push it to short. That's ah, a little strong. And then just push to the sideline and out of bounds. And actually short did a nice job of just getting out of the way of that as Patrick just cleared it off to the sideline. Yeah, I think that was a good decision by Patrick. It looked like the ball initially was going to have the pace to get over the end line. And and it just kind of died as it got closer. Throw in taken away. Here comes to Lyles. Feeds it out front. Nice turn. Bruff. And a whistle. Came a little late. Bornkamp actually kind of stopped. I think she was just, all right, would somebody please blow the whistle here? Or let me just kind of stop, get control, because 
I think the official was going to let play carry on. And Bornkamp just stopped. Settled it. Yeah, I think that was the right call. It looked like she was going to allow it to, to play the advantage there. But Bornkamp's back to goal in a situation like that. I don't think that was advantageous. But we've got a dangerous set piece here now. It's like Conti. Conti standing over that ball about 25 yards yeah. out. She can rough. I think Conti's going to have a go at it here. That's a good distance for her to just put it over that wall into that near post. Conti hits it in. Hopper and Hens there covers it up. That was on frame. Yeah, she actually went far post there. Hens was a little shielded, but did well to collect that. Clemson still settling it, still working it in the south. Oh, here's an op another opportunity. Here's a cross. Born camp, it deflects. Ball in the air, short. Trying to feed it off left side. Was looking for a handball. Didn't get the call. We'll center it in. Ball is touched, and it deflects over the end line. That was close to an own goal. Yeah, whipped ball in there from St. George. Had a lot of pace on it. When you make contact with that, sometimes you don't have any idea where it's going down. Let's see if St. George is going to try to put this on the keeper. You can see Caroline Conti in there shielding hens. Good feed right in the middle. Born camp up, can't get to it. Ball headed out and just cleared. Proper white. Gonna send it right back in. Born camp trying to head it, and it comes on one bounce to hits. Boy, that was a great feat by Harper White. Yeah, just pump it back in there as that back line is pushing forward from South Carolina. Courageous for Born camp to go down and put her head on that. See a little contact from behind that maybe not Born camp off balance, but not anywhere close enough to draw a whistle. Well, Don, we talked about it before. You know, the, you want your goalkeeper to make all the routine saves and then come up with one or two that are spectacular. And I think Hens has done that. Nice tonight. cut. Rough. Feeds it off. Is this on side? It still is. Chips it across. Short. Chips it back in. Ball knocked away out front. Conti will try to settle it. We'll watch it go out of bounds. We'll watch it go out of bounds. And a quick throw in. I've got Turns, be. gets it in quickly. I thought Conti was off on that last attack. 1v1, tried to push that. That's great defense and a flag and a whistle. That's against Clemson. But great defense on the backside there by Dixon. Well, Cameron Dixon's been so good in those 1v1 situations tonight. You see Dixon red Conti where she was going. Got over there. Ball headed forward. Harper White gonna run that down and just push it to the sideline. She felt pressure from behind from O'Rourke. So a throw in here for South Carolina. Let's take a look there at White. And three subs will come off the bench. 13, 7, and 21 all come in for South Carolina. So Murphy, along with Spees and Jacobson. Cameron Dixon there to handle the throw in. Dixon centers it in. Ball touched out front, still loose, touched, and just rolls harmlessly into the hands of Makowitz. And I believe that's the first ball that's been on frame tonight for South Carolina. 
Yeah, it bounced awkwardly and squeezed it did. out on the end of it. I think uh, Clemson's fortunate she didn't make better contact. Little hesitation there, and that was read well. Taken away. Spees feeds it off, gets it off to Barry. Barry trying to feed it out front. That's covered up Makowitz. Boy, that was a good break on the ball there by O'Rourke. And Makowitz able to cover it up. Ooh, there's a little nice fancy touch. But once again here, South Carolina pushing it. All of a sudden, you can feel a little offensive momentum swinging towards the Gamecocks. Barry looking for the header. Ball still up in the air. Finally headed out. Short will come back. Bring it into the deep corner. Taken away there, and the ball will go over the end line for a corner. So Spees will go and take the corner. So look at Ali Makowitz in goal. Oh, lined in there and bodied out. Yeah, I think that was Duff that had the last touch. Well, there's a takeaway by Lyles. Miles waiting for teammates to catch up. Got it to the foot of Bruff. And they try to play it forward. And controlled. White. She's going to push it off. Here's Short. Short. Pushes it outside. Bruff off on the wing. Cross in. Oh, up and over the head, but short backside controls. She tries to fire a bender that goes wide. There's two near chances there from Clemson. Morris will check back into the Clemson lineup along with Tobia. See Lyles going out. For the Clemson squad also coming out St. George. I think, I think with some of these Clemson substitutions, you've got players that can play in a number of areas. You had Conti wide, and and now she can drop back to, I think, as a ten there, more of a playmaker as, as opposed to a wide player. When having Tobias come in, out front. Oh, nice shot, shot on net, and that'll go wide. That's really the first big threat by Barry that we have seen this evening. She set herself up to that left foot and had an opportunity. Well, and credit to her, she makes something out of nothing, doesn't she? She's she kind did. of on an island there, just in a 1v1 situation. Other players didn't get forward quick enough in transition. See Barry going out as DK will come back in for South Carolina. DK came off the bench and was a force. Yeah, she's a first half. Player, isn't she? She's deceptively quick, powerful, tough in the challenge. Out of bounds for South Carolina throw in. Born camp finds Morris, who will feed it to Short. Short trying to feed it back to Morris. Errant pass there. Deflection comes off the foot. Spees plays it back and it's just cleared. Back in, that'll be chased down by Duff. Makowitz one times it away. Morris able to hit it off short with defender behind her. Good step in there by Murphy. She controls and then deflects that ball. It'll be chased down before it goes over the end line and then just pushed out of bounds. Rough. 
sub in for South Carolina. Looks like we have Micah Bryant checking yeah. back in. She comes back in. Take a look at Bryant. Meadows going out. Tell you the, Don, the, this game has kind of swung back and forth. Hasn't it has. It? Both teams have had kind of their, their little spells of, of momentum. Yeah, I think we've actually seen a little bit of a faster tempo here second half so far in the second half than we did first half. Going to test the fitness of both of these clubs here in game number one. Chip in, but headed out. Morris trying to body off the attacker and is able to do so. Excuse me, that was McNarrick, not Morris. 12 instead of two. Sometimes the long hair gets in the way of numbers. We'll see a sub come in for Clemson. Manusos will check in. And as Short we, will get a blow. As we referenced earlier, I don't think Tatum Short's evening is necessarily done. Oh, no. She'll have a re-entry. Ruff will turn it back up field. Morris trying to chip it forward, looking for Bourne Camp too long. And a battle and a push, and that'll be a foul against Clemson. Manusos pushing off there. And Spees. Take a look there at Spees. It's a good press from Clemson. DK had it taken away, but then it would cause enough problems to get it back. Long feed trying to get it over the top of the defensive backs. Can't. Hirschfeld. Renusos. Hirschfeld trying to look, find Born Camp. Can't, but able to get it back. Renusos. White, DK touches it away. Oh, and a late whistle. Call a foul on DK. Not so sure about that. Another one of those moments where she's deceptively quick. And maybe came across the body. You know, with that foot, officials usually don't like to see you put the foot out front across. So here's Harper White. Morris trying to chip it in, but too much backline defense. Clemson still controls, though. Trying to push it through. Looking, Conti looking for Manusos. The touch too strong. And another sub comes in for South Carolina. Schubach will come back in for the South Carolina lineup. We saw her first half. You see O'Rourke going out. She will not be on the sideline for the rest of this match. You can guarantee that. 24-20 left in regulation. Thirtieth meeting between these two clubs. Clemson leads the series 16-11 and two, and has gone 3-0 and one in the last four. That's a great game in 2022, a 2-2 draw down there in Columbia. At the time, I think South Carolina was ranked as high as fourth in the country. Fourth in the country, yep. Whistle and a foul called on Clemson, staying down. See there, Brianna Bim. Gets up, runs it off. Fala will send it in. Headed out. South Carolina will control. Out front, long shot that will deflect and come out of bounds. That's off of Clemson. And down goes Hirschfeld. I think 
She may have taken the brunt of that. You can see she is in some pain. And right away, athletic training staff for Clemson is going to scramble out to her. You hate to see injuries in game one, but if you're Eder Edwanski and it's a player like Hal Hirschfeld, you're even more concerned. Because that right there is a big, big piece to what he thinks Clemson can be here in 2023. Yeah, she's so good playing the role as the six for them. She yep. like the ball off the back four. She's tough in a tackle. She can set the tempo. And as I referenced earlier, she does all the little dirty things that that go unnoticed, winning the tackles, cutting out passes. You could almost see that look when they were looking at it. Coach Redwanski there in the Clemson huddle. He was a little smile on his face. It was more of like, you've got to be kidding me, smile. This will be a nice little break for both of these coaches yep. to be able to get their teams together and and give a couple of quick tactical points. Of course, Shelly Smith, head coach, and don't forget her husband also is an assistant coach. Jamie on the South Carolina squad. Hirschfeld gets up, and that's a good sign right there that she leaves under her own power. Yes, yeah, certainly your, your instinct is to think the worst when they reach for their knee. So that's a good sign she's coming off on her own. Hey, I know I think the worst when I reach for my <laughs> knee. So Hirschfeld will go out. And we'll get Danny Davis and we'll come back in. I see Hirschfeld coming to the Clemson sideline. But still a little hitch in the giddy up as she comes to the Clemson bench. We'll do the throw in again. It'll be interesting to see how much this change with uh, Danny Davis coming in and playing the role in midfield. I think. Cross out front, trouble. But Clemson able to clear it. I think by trade, she's naturally a midfielder, so I think she'll slot right in there. Oh, my. Oh, they're going to call that on Clemson. DK goes down. And you'll call that against, against Clemson. Go back and look at, look at this. DK Conti tangled up. I guess they say that Conti was up over top, maybe with the arm, and pulled her down. Yeah, I think I have the same reaction as Caroline Conti. I don't think I saw enough there to warrant a foul, but nonetheless, Clemson's going to have to defend here. And this will be interesting to see if South Carolina tries to put this on frame. Gonna chip it in, look far side, and a diving stop by Makowitz. Well, you better not show that to some football coaches around the country because <laughs> she went up, just took that thing out of the air. Yeah, really nicely done. Reads it, attacks the ball. Ball stayed in fully, did not go fully out of bounds on the sideline, but here's an opportunity for South Carolina one more time. Bring it deep, going to look for the cross. There it is. They were looking for DK. That ball is going to go out of bounds and be a throw in in about as deep part of the corner as you can get. Clemson trying to hurry it up before South Carolina can completely get over there, defend it well. South Carolina will clear it out on the sideline for another Clemson throw in. And here's that cross again. You see DK filling right there, Kevin. Yeah, outstanding positioning from Harper White. She's goal side, she's ball side, she's gonna cut it out. But for me, if I'm Clemson, I, I'm thinking I have to get the ball on Megan Bornkamp's foot, let her pin it, let's get our composure, get a bit of possession, take the air out of the game a little bit. South Carolina's kind of poured it on here the last five minutes. Push to the wing. Settle there. Tobia. Try to push it middle, but nobody was there. DK touches it. White 
We'll watch it. It's well done from Clemson there, and you can see McKenna Morris just playing a kind of the role as that inverted outside back, pinching inside. It. Here's an ball. attack on the wing, Kevin. Feeds it out front, oh shot. My. No call. Clemson again was looking for the handball. Didn't happen. Well, that's one of those situations where you wonder with kind of this new video rule, will they take a look at that? Eddie Redwanski. There is a experimental rule that's inside the ACC. Here we go. It comes up, but it does hit the hands. Yeah, now the interpretation is, is this a falla? Are the hands in a natural position? If they're up in the right. air like that, you could make the argument they are not. But that arm is out, and you can see that ball is going towards the goal. But we will not review it. Morris chips it in, gets it right back. Again, they try to feed it to Morris. She'll touch it out of the wing. Nice move, left footed shot, deflects. Clemson still right. controls out front. Shot long and high. I think we're going to see a free kick here. I think it's going to be. We're going to get a yellow. Getting a yellow for that challenge. And she allowed advantage to play on, but at the end of the day, I'm not sure if much developed. You can see the. Oof. I tell you, she's fortunate. That's just a yellow. That's pretty high on the shin with the cleats exposed. You get a whistle and a foul call now. And they, oh, they're going to issue a yellow now. Now, Clemson, so DK drew one. Now it starts to feel like a now Davis draws one. Game, doesn't it? Yeah. A couple of yellows here. You can see she just got caught in possession. That's what I would call a professional foul. She just doesn't want to give up a counterattack. Push up the sideline. Bruff, though, has it taken away. Good defensive play there once again by Dixon. <laughs> she hasn't we called that all long, night long. Ball up the sideline becomes a throw in for Clemson. Born camp, one of the few touches she has had in this half. She got several first half. South Carolina has done a good job of limiting her here second half. And she's much more effective finding those seams and, and being a good target. Good oh, push good. through. Good run out of midfield from Conti. It's just too long of a dribble coming in on the angle. <laughs> South Carolina does such a good job of putting two, three bodies on you once you get anywhere in that box area. Here's another opportunity for a cross. There it is, and nobody there. They were looking for Bourne Camp. And I wonder if I'm Caroline Conti, if I'm not going to continue to carry that ball. Bruff pushes it in line, and that ball will be touched out, and that will be a corner. Yeah, good recovery from Micah Bryant there. She was initially beat to the in line, but she got the last touch. I think Short's going to come back in. Next opportunity for Clemson. Be after, possibly after this corner. Danny Davis to take the corner. Bends it, ball headed up, and out of bounds it goes. It'll be another corner. That was a good feed. And I couldn't tell if. If Hens got 
with fist on that or not. Yes, a lot of traffic in there. Looks like she got involved in a little collision again. Take a look at it. Backside. I think she did. I see a substitution here for both teams. Clemson will send short in one. South Carolina will sub three. Looks like Shea O'Rourke. See Drew Drake come in for the first time, I believe, tonight. O'Rourke comes back in. And also back in is Zulo. I think there'll be a sigh of relief from that Clemson coaching staff with DK going off. She was a handful. Play it short. Morris out front, going to fire it long, but it sails high and wide. I can see she just didn't quite get her hips around that. Yeah, body back. Got to get chest over the ball. And now an opportunity for South Carolina, but stopped. Just one touch able to stop that. And Clemson will control at midfield. Here's Short. Ruff touches it off, gets it right back. Short off to the wing, Conti. Right offside, it is. I think that was very close. Her body shape was right to receive that ball. She looked like she was looking across that South Carolina back line. She felt she was on. Well, here's great camera work by our crew right here. You'll be able to tell. Oof. If we had that. Doesn't matter what we think. It only matters with the man with the flag. It's, it's kind of like when you're driving on a highway, the man with the flag has all the power. White chasing it down backside and is going to clear it. And that's going to end up being a corner. Uh, for South Carolina, a bit of a mistake there by, by White. Yeah, Hopper White taking no chances, playing a back pass to Makowitz there. She's got Barry breathing down her neck. So a corner here for South Carolina as we drift towards 14 minutes left. It looks like they're going to send over Fala to take the corner, and they will. She's going to do her best to hit an in-swinger. She doesn't have a lot of real estate to work with back in that corner. He kind of scooped it a little bit. Ball headed out. Dixon chips it right back in, hops up. And that's going to be a foul there on South Carolina. The undercut, that may draw a card, yeah, I think and it will. Card there. Yep. The biggest thing is there, I don't think there's any ill intent, but there's no intent to play the ball. She doesn't jump, she doesn't challenge for it. Schubach. Well, that's a big yellow card. Look at that. They, they bring the big yellow cards in the stands. Kind of like the man in the big yellow hat. She tried to. <laughs> Curious George's buddy? <laughs> Got to be of a certain age, Kevin, that's, to understand that right. reference. I don't think we ever learned his name. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you think about it, I don't think you ever learned his name. You know, the monkey. That name. monkey was trouble, though. <laughs> Rough one touch to short. Feels pressure from behind, so plays it back. Chip it forward, Bruff. Able to shield off the defender. It works back towards our own half. Push through. And that'll be last touch by... Clemson, we have a stoppage. I'm not sure what the stoppage here is for. We're stomping for a water break for the center official. 
I'm not sure. It's uh, Alyssa Nichols. She's wanting to look. Oh, the clock apparently was not running. So the, they've been back. There was a clock malfunction. So we'll go back. All right, so there you can see 13.39. And once the ball was touched, it never started. And they'll just have to watch the replay until they see when the clock actually does start again. Somebody. The advantage of digital technology because they can tell you exactly how long we were playing until the clock started up again or didn't start again. And it goes resets. We're showing 13.21. So that's what the clock is showing now. Let's see if it stays there. It's opening night for everybody. I think the players will enjoy a little reprieve. Well, one minute break here. Yeah. Well, and with 13, 20, 13, whatever it's going to be, around 13 minutes, I think everybody will good chance to a, refresh the batteries. It's kind of like a free pit stop in NASCAR. Go change tires. Do you take two or you're going to get all four? It's Taylor Bag beside him there. Looks like huh. club team Casa. Yeah. Father Rick, our director tonight, the one with the sunglasses hanging from the T-shirt. So we're at 13 minutes and counting. Here we go. Conti trying to touch it off. Ball comes spinning to the sideline, throw in Clemson. Clemson. Two or three threats first half. They have not had a big threat here second half. South Carolina, though, has. They've gotten in behind a couple of times, just haven't quite got that full chance. It could be coming here, though. Morris will feed it off the wing. Push it, looking for the cross. But again, there's that backside defense by South Carolina. Push it. Opportunity centered. Stop. Hens able to jump on it, not once, but twice. Big An opportunity play. for Meredith, and she couldn't finish. What a delivery from Morris coming in. Look at her. She hits the ball with pace in. I tell you, I think Dixon got a touch, enough of a touch to it to take the sting out of it, though, didn't she? Yep. Mm, I, get a, I believe the ball went fully out of bounds in the sideline for a throw in for South Carolina. Subs again coming in. So both of these coaches, man, they have, have really used their benches here second half, taking out starters, giving them a blow, and then making constant personnel adjustments in this just to try to keep as fresh of a unit on the pitch as they can. Yeah, and they're also kind of trying to answer some questions here exactly. early in the season. Coach Smith there takes Dixon out. Certainly a good sign for this Clemson team seeing Hirschfeld return to play. Yep. Ball chipped in. Makowitz will take that. Quickly roll it out. Put it to the foot. St. George. Megan Bourne can't. Pressure from behind. Meredith able to settle it. Born Cam pressured again from behind and had it knocked away. She has definitely been marked here second half. And that ball just touched and pushed out of bounds by St. George. We see some South Carolina fans scattered in among the Clemson faithful here tonight. Mm -hmm. 
Ball out of bounds on the sideline for a throw in. The women for Clemson will be right back here in this on this field Sunday. Six o'clock match. Uh, Gardner Webb, I believe, right? Gardner Webb. Boiling Springs, North Carolina. South Carolina will be at home against Jacksonville. Collision, but they play on. Born camp trying to push it through. And Meredith was just kind of standing there, and ball touched much too hard. I don't know if she was trying to play her in behind. That it's a pretty heavy pass as she was. Shot from outside, sails high. It's Caroline Conti having a go at it. I think that's where we've seen a lot of growth in her game over the course of the last year and a half. She will pull the trigger of giving a half chance. Just that one extra touch. That was, I think that even she got hens a little off guard with that shot from about 19. Push through, run is on. White, though, will relieve the pressure, just push it to the sideline. Try to push it to Zulo. Quick throw in. Ball clear, deflection comes, though. Clemson able to cover it up defensively. One more time. South Carolina probes. Pushes it in, looking for the turn. Shot! And it's high. Great shot there. Off the foot of O'Rourke. And that did not miss upper left corner by much. Well, everything's in her first touch in the turn, isn't it? She able to get around the defender. Quality first touch. Gets her hips around it. <laughs> It's kind of a two-headed monster for them, isn't it, with O'Rourke and, and Barry. They're a handful. We drift to seven minutes left. Yeah, maybe a foul on South Carolina. Dangerous play and Conti down for Clemson. She gives the thumbs up sign. Just more, just give me a minute. Let me re-catch my breath. Watch this here. Conti comes in, head down, going for the header. Take a little bit of a knee to the, to the side. Okay, and Conti's got a little edge to her game. She's, you kind of don't want to poke the bear too much with her. Both of those, Hirschfeld <laughs> and Conti are players, because we've obviously seen Clemson a lot over the years, and both of them have that little bit of that edge. White defeated in. Good chip into the box. Meredith couldn't get ahead on it. Trying to chase it down, keep it in play. Does so. Short. And that'll be a last touch by South Carolina. Off the foot and out of bounds of Taylor Jacobson. See St. George come forward to take this. That's a Ten nine. players off the bench for South Carolina. Clemson has answered with six. And this is the ninth corner here for Clemson on the night. 
three corners for South Carolina. 10-5 shots in favor of Clemson. Put it up, a little high. Downs out front. Come right back, though, on the foot of St. George. Morris pushed off the ball, and that goes out of bounds. Oh, my, she's going to give herself a and corner. They're going to be a touch corner. Morris. Let's see how I like the reaction of Morris there. No talking, just get up, play. Let's go. I've gone short. St. George crosses it, bounds in the box, shot wide. Short, the freshman couldn't square it up and put it on frame. Back in comes Dixon, who's been such a big piece of the brick wall defensively for South Carolina in the backside. So you go back, there was the handball that Clemson maybe thought they deserved and didn't get earlier in this half. You can see two right there at the top of the box, which was not, I don't think, would have resulted in a penalty kick had they called it, but boy, it would have been trouble, obviously taking anything from right outside the box. Yeah, and of course, DK did get the caution on that right. play, but they did allow advantage to play on for Clemson. Meredith will feed it back to short. First fill, good look. Feed it off on the wing. Lyles. First fill. Morris trying to turn it. Short. 1v1, plays it back out front to Hirschfeld. And a stolen backside, and who does it? None other than Dixon. I think in those moments in this time frame, you've got to have your your take on artists, go with players in the box. We drift under three and a half left. The ball will be touched out of bounds by St. George. Well, the tempo in this game is not disappointed it's stayed high of course the, the new rule in effect after I think the 2021 season will be no overtime in a regular season match O'Rourke comes out as Spees comes back in with three minutes left able to head it forward and get it to the foot of the always dangerous Barry Cat Barry trying to fire a shot that will deflect off the Clemson defender and become a corner here at the 250 mark for South Carolina. A good job from Harper White there cutting that out. So Makowitz doesn't have to make a save, but they're going to have to deal with this set piece. Spees to handle the corner. Good feed in. Across it goes, and no one could get a piece of it. I think it's a little bit of a punch there from Makowitz. I think she got a piece of it just to put it out of danger. Clear, here's Short. Nicely done from Caroline Conti, changing the point of attack quickly. Short pushes it off, right side, pushes it through, Born Camp, nope. Minute 50 left. Whistle and stoppage. And we have a player down for South Carolina. And they're back half. Stop the clock with a minute 42 left. Is down. Is Holland Torres. Grad student out of Frisco, Texas. It's a grad transfer from Harvard. Yeah. See what 
happened to her there. She got run into. It looks like for Dave Lyles. Just, just stayed went, down, never got up. That kind of the follow through, I think that cleat kind of raked across her right leg. Nice, but again, a, another little, this a little stoppage that everybody can catch their breath a little bit in a minute 42 left. Emma Bucci, junior out of Myrtle Beach, will check in. 28 for South Carolina. I'll just drop it. Here we go. 95 seconds left. Cross, header, oh, my. oh, off the bar. That's Sammy Meredith getting on the end of that, puts it off the crossbar. <laughs> 75 seconds left. Short, carries it to the box, cuts across, tripped, no, no whistle. I think that's Cameron Dixon coming up again with a big time tackle. Clemson again looking for the throw in. Born Camp trying to head it, can't. Ball in the air with 49 seconds left. Hirschfeld out front, looking for the handball and they get it with 43 seconds left. And then we're going to stop the clock with 38 seconds left. <laughs> now we'll have to get another look at that glancing header from Sammy Meredith. Here you go. Here's your look. Conti crosses it. Oh! Off the crossbar. Here's the handball. White chips it in, out front, short. Shot on goal, covered up. Hens with a nice save with 27 seconds left. Clemson just continues to knock on that door here late. Well, the only time she's been beaten, the crossbar came up for her. Again, she was up for the challenge. Born camp, 10 seconds left. Morris pushes it. Nope. And we're going to play to a nil-nil tie here tonight. So the rival schools here in South Carolina.